and I'm not Techie HQ. In this video, we will cover how to use square shifts for team management. This feature is free for up to five team members and 10 days on the free plan. If you need more, you can upgrade to a paid plan. First, we will start in our Square dashboard and we will go to staff and payroll and shifts. Now you should have team members already added to your team. That is the only way that you'll be able to schedule shifts for them. So you want to add them to your team first and then you can create a schedule. So here on our left hand side, we have all of our settings for scheduling and availability, time tracking, payroll, HR and compliance, announcements, reports, and settings. On the left side of our scheduling grid, you will see the team members listed here. And you will always see open shifts. Open shifts is available to pay plans. And when they are created, your employees are able to go and claim shifts and to add to their schedule. So you will go to availability first and ensure that your team members have filled out their availability. We do have an available here. You can also go in and, and select it for them if you have spoken to them about their availability. It is not required for you to add shifts to have their availability, but it helps with conflicts. So we'll go back to schedule. In here, I see that since the availability was added for this team member, I can see when they are available and when they aren't. Since no availability was added to this one, I see that every day is available for them to be scheduled. So to create a schedule shift for this employee, we will hover over this box and just click the plus. You will get a notice that said that the team member's availability hasn't been set yet and you do get an option to add the availability. It will automatically pull in their name and their job. If they work multiple job types, then you can switch between what is here. You cannot add job types, types in the square shifts, only in the team member section. So we have our start date, which we could come in and select any date. But since we're working on this schedule for the 16th through the 22nd, I selected Monday, June 17th. So I could set a start time of 9 a.m. and I could do three o'clock p.m. You can also add notes to your shift and you can change the colors for this particular shift. The colors don't reflect anywhere else, they will be able to be shown on the shift scheduling menu, but nowhere else. So it could be used to just classify like shifts, night shifts, overnight shifts, um, do it for a, a color for a particular team member, however you see fit, but it's always going to default to this green color here. You also have an option to repeat the shift. So if I want the same shift on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, then I can click save and I will see that it's added to the schedule here. Then if Tuesday there is another period, so I could do 5 a.m. to 9, click save, that's in here. So then this employee they'll be off on sunday they'll be off on thursday and they'll be off on saturday so if there is no time period that is added here then it will be considered an off day in the left hand side once you start adding in shifts you'll be able to see how many hours are contributed to a particular employee and what that pay would be for based on these shifts and their hourly rate You'll also have a full list of full calculation of cost and hours. And then you will also have per day breakdown. So since this one is available in either one, if I was to put a 5 a.m. shift in, 
I will see that they're available from nine to one, nine to 11. So if I do five to 10 and I have that and I save it, it's going to send a notification that says that they are unavailable during this time. So you won't be able to accidentally um, come for a time that they're not available. See here now we have that um, on the actual schedule. So if I was to do just a PM, this is between their hours, we see it's cleared. Once you have your schedule in, you can click publish and it will give you a summary of your team members, your shifts and your hours. You can send it to all team members on the list or notify only the affected team members that they have these shifts coming up. Once you schedule them, you'll get your green check mark that say it was published and you'll see the color of your shifts change. Now, when they check in for the clock in for their shift, they will be able to see the barista notes in their Square Team app. So that is how I add shifts to Square.